Out of all the Bond henchmen on the top 10 list, I forgot to include him on the list and even honorable mention. Now, he is considered one of the most infamous Bond henchmen, and I feel that it was wrong to have not included him or at least not make a video of him. Now, he's definitely not going to be in top 10 simply due to the fact I find my other top 10 Bond henchmen far more interesting. Uh, correction. I just find far more that I just like more personally than this character. So, Nick Knack, betrayed by, sorry if I pronounce it wrong, Javier Velichis. Sorry, I'm very bad at pronouncing. Overall, yeah, he appears in Man with the Golden Gun, and he's a unique Bond henchman because he is a midget. He is short. But also the fact that the idea of, like, his character, he is loyal to his master and, you know, obeys with him and gets involved in all his devilish plot. But it's also hinted that he is also has tried to kill him over the years, set him up to be killed so he can take over all this, everything that, like, this mansion, this island, basically all this luxury that Scaramanga has become accustomed to. He is loyal to him. But if it also means that if he does die, he can get all this fortune, he is willing to do it. He is willing to betray him. Also interesting that he's one of the few Bond villains, uh, henchmen, do not get killed at the end of the film. He is captured. Rather interesting. And the fact that he is a midget does provide a bit of comic relief a little bit. But I feel that the characterization of this character is were, is far more better. Better. And... It goes to show that even some of the worst Bond films can turn out some of the best villains that the series has to offer.